Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Skin Pedal Motorsports. The car is loaded up. We're gonna get started on the drive bay portion of Rocky Mountain Race Week. It's like 380 miles, so we gotta get on the road. So at this point on the drive, my car started running hot. It was getting up in the high 220s and the low 230s, and it normally runs around 200. I know it's hot out here, but it shouldn't be running that hot. So we pulled over, and as you'll see, the 1320 guys and I believe AMS Performance, their owner, stopped and gave us a hand. And yeah, you'll see that right here. So we like to stop and see what kind of uh, challenges the racers run into along the way. This guy's got some cooling issues, which is pretty common. And right now it's like 81 degrees, and it's gonna be like 95 later, so it's really good that he's trying to figure it out now. Because we're literally in the middle of nowhere, Kansas, and there's like nothing open here. Yeah, giving him the cooling tubs. He went into a system. Yeah, he's gonna help a lot of people this week. I love it. This thing should be really easy to go on the road. Well, uh, we're back on road. We had a slight problem. Radiator's overheating a little bit, so it's getting hot, but. Major shout out to the guys at 1320 Video and AMS Performance. They hooked it up and uh, came through clutch and we made us a cardboard splitter on the front of this thing. Got us a can jam and uh, a little tape and man, it's got some shark tooth on the front through from the guy from AMS Performance. So, hey, we're back on the road, baby. Well, you probably wondered why we're back here at the trailer. Unfortunately, I think I got a head gasket going out or something. This thing just will not stay cool. I, I have burped it like 14 times, jacked it up, put my Lyle funnel on there. I've tried it every which way to get the air out of it. I even made an air dam. The guys, the guys from 1320 helped me make this thing. And it even, even that won't keep it cool. So I'm just gonna put it back on the trailer and uh, we're gonna turn it into road weakers. And uh, yeah. We're still gonna cover the event, you know? We're still gonna check out Cletus and Kyle from 1320 and Chris and Project Prime. We're gonna hang out with those guys and just cover the event. So there still be daily videos, so don't stop watching. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get this thing on the trailer and get on the road and get to Pueblo. Well, we're in Colorado. And there goes some race weekers right there. I don't know what those people are doing, but there goes some race weekers. That thing's sick. Well, let's get back on the road and follow them to the next spot. Well, I know we're not on Rocky Mountain Race Week anymore, but it's still cool when you pull up to the gas station. And there's cool cars over there. I'm going to look at that thing. There's cool cars over there. I'm going to look at that thing. I can't talk today. Well, we're at Pueblo, and there's a bad car. I think that's actually like the second fastest car this week, third fastest, something like that third fastest but it could be the first fastest it is pretty dang fast there's a few fast cars here well we're in the pits walking around checking out all the cars that we saw on sunday but they're calling up the true street class right now oh it is pac-man check that out it's pac-man on the hood okay we're gonna go over here and watch some racing Obviously, this is the baddest Jeep body on the property. Y'all know this car, it's Glitch Performance. Sick, nasty, built by KSR Performance. Thing is absolutely insane. Watch it make it pass in a little bit. Insane car. This is probably also one of the coolest cars on the property. 
pretty freaking hard. Like a 427, and I think like an F2 Pro Charger or something like that. I think it's sick. This is also a bad car. Another bad car too. These things are sick. Mountains, race cars, I mean, just all kinds of cool stuff. Like, that's badass. That's badass. I mean, this thing is wicked. Check that out, dude. This thing runs like, I think like eights or nines or something like that. This is just an awesome event. If you ever get a chance to come out to one, I suggest you come out to one. I mean, there's all kinds of like families, husband and wife couples. I mean, I even brought my wife. So, it's been fun. It's been a pretty good event so far and like I said we're gonna try to put a video up at least maybe every race day maybe not every travel day but we're gonna definitely try to cover the event more since we're not able to compete anymore see you 1320 see what you're doing yeah, where we go y'all put one of these up but yeah this is the coolest event in the world man I'm so excited I got to come this year more excited to come back next year with the actual car that's gonna work but just check it out I mean Mountains way over there, and all these race cars. There's like 300 race cars. Made into this video. We just wanted to cover the event today, and uh, you know, show some of the cool quick times and whatnot. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you've been watching for a while, you know the lesson. You ain't on the break. Baby, on screen, feel son.